What's up, YouTube? I'm here with another DIY for you guys. I'm super, super excited about this DIY just because of the love y'all showed me on my last DIY. Today, I have with me my girl, Nelsie. Come here. I got Nelsie here assisting me, so she'll be helping me do this DIY today. Um, let me tell you the things that y'all are going to need. So, first of all, you're going to need a your favorite Shane Justin outfit. We're making a two-piece today, that's why I have a two-piece. So, crop top, skirt. You're gonna need this. You're going to need your favorite fabric. Today I'm using this cool iridescent color changing one. Super dope, super glittery, dope. I can't wait to show y'all this outfit. You're gonna need some elastic for the waist of your skirt. Preferably a thick one, maybe about like, what? One inch or one inch. inch and a quarter. Okay, one inch, an inch or a quarter, something like that. Mm -hmm. Just something thick, y'all can kind of see this you're gonna need your thinner elastic because we're gonna do a plunging neckline so you're gonna put this around your um, your neck just and I'm gonna tell y'all exactly why you're gonna do that you're gonna need a weight you're gonna need some pins you know can't really see this but some pins and you're gonna need your favorite scissors and a measuring tape all right let's get started I'm gonna make this simple and easy for y'all so first off what you want to do is you want to get your fabric right here we have some cool glittery fabric it's like glittery stretchy super dope and it, it actually changes colors it's like iridescent so if you're t if you turn this way it's purple and if you turn this way it's blue i picked this fabric because i want to show y'all how like tricky you can be and how creative you guys can be as well um so right now we're just getting the fabric situated and yeah so Nancy, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is should I cut it double or should I cut it one by one? Like one one um probably best by one, right? Um no, depends. Hmm. Let, let's make it easy for them. Let's let's cut it double. So look, let's fold it two yeah. times. Let's fold oh, it. Oh, you two. mean mm -hmm. the same Yeah, and this is a really important thing, you guys. Okay. You have to test your stretch. I messed up on this so many times. For example, what I mean by test your stretch is for example, this is a two-way stretch. This is not a four-way stretch. On the last DIY, I did a four-way stretch. So no matter which way I cut it, we could have used it. This way, stretches. This way, no stretch. So you want to make sure that you do not fold it on the opposite way. So when you cut your piece out, that it does not stretch. So That'll be a nightmare. Stretch go on to the side. Yes. Not to the length. Yes. To the side. To the side. That's what you want. So I have the fabric. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double fold it just so I won't have to cut two times. I could just cut the front and the back at one good time. So, just straighten this out. All right. So no, we're gonna use our favorite Shane Justin pattern. I'm gonna ah, use okay. this one. So, you see I folded it? This is if I wanted to just cut the front, but because I want to cut the front and the back at the same time, I'm gonna double fold it two times, like that. Now, what you want to do is, you take your crop top, whatever your favorite crop top is, it, preferably Shane Justin because of the quality. But, <laughs> but for example, you just take the shop, the, the 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 top, and you fold it in half. Simply fold it in half, literally fold it in half, um, and you place it on the fabric really nice and neat like such and you take the skirt you fold it in half you place it on the fabric nice and neat just like that so now the fun part what I'm gonna do is I want you to get on top of this so they can actually see that this is literally folded in half so I just literally fold it in half and my model is a size small today so I'm gonna cut this using a small so make sure everything is even everything is nice and even you have to make sure everything is nice and even all right so I'm gonna start with the bottom because I feel like that might be the easiest and what you want to do with doing stuff like this because we want to you have to leave a seam allowance you have to leave some allowance for the seam so don't cut exactly the length of this top. Mm -hmm. If I were you, I would cut at least one and a half, two inches more. Because you want to leave room for error. 
I would do two. Let's do two. So, two inches more than what the top is already at. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply cut. Bam. So, I done cut my top. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow that seam. Continuously leaving an inch. I, I won't leave too much on the side because you don't, you don't want your item to be too big. Like, I, I'd rather it bigger than smaller, but you just don't want it to be too big. So, let me just... This is where it can get tricky around that arm. So when you get to the arm, you kind of want to, you want to just stop right there because you want to take your time and cut that arm nicely. This, your neckline, what you want to do is, I like my necks to be a little, a little deeper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, just cut a, a, literally a U like that. Just shoot. And now your arm, just going to go with the flow. Now, so we're at the armhole right now. This is what I do. This is what I normally do because me trying to cut this armhole with this thing sitting right here, I'm a mess up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply remove the top. Literally, everything is already cut. I know that an armhole is just like that. It's literally just like that. So I'm just gonna simply cut that. And y'all just watch me how I curve that. I'll just watch how I curve that. So they're on my top right there. So I'm gonna pull my top to the side and I'm gonna cut my skirt. Like I said, I'm gonna leave two inches at the top because my, mind you, you guys, look, you gotta put this elastic at the top of your skirt. So, and most girls want their skirt to be a little high waist, you know? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure up about can use this one and stick it oh yeah let's definitely use that one so i'm i'm gonna I'm cut up more like i'm gonna say like two and a half inches just so i can leave myself no i'm gonna do three let's just go to whole three so three inches higher than a regular skirt so three inches higher and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shape her keep in mind i keep telling y'all when you're making clothes you want to shape your woman even though she's not that shape you you, you kind of want to shape her so you like the you're like the, the clothes surgeon, if that makes any sense. You're like a surgeon when it comes to clothes. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to give my girl some hips. So, uh, watch me. Watch me work. Watch me work. Now, I'm not going to cut it right here. I'm not going to cut it right here. I'm going to cut it at least an inch and a half, two inches longer. All right, now, oh, you know what I need to do? Because I want to make some sleeves to go on this top. Should I make sleeves to go on it? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's give it some sleeves. So, you want to get fancy with the sleeves? Let's, get, let's give it a little flare too. Okay. Let's give it a little, uh, you know? So, what you want to do is, move this out of the way because you do not want to cut y'all stuff. You don't want to, listen, I done did it so many times. You don't want to do that. So, Let's see, the stretch is on this way. Keep, mm -hmm. keep in mind, you guys, you so want to continuously, continuously check your stretch because you do not want to mess up your fabric and cutting it on the side that don't stretch because that'll be a mess. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see how let's long see. this is because I want my, I like my sleeves to be long. Uh, this, that's too short. It's okay. Well, well, the, the model is not that, let's, let's see. Let's use the other side. Let's use that side, yeah. Because I like my sleeves to be long. I like that, that's that fashion look. Yeah. So, remember you guys, you want to double it. You want to double it because you don't want to cut two different sleeves. Now, sometimes some people would rather do it like that because they feel like they might mess up or whatever, but I just like to double. I ain't I don't have time. So, I told y'all I like my sleeves to be long. So, I'm going to measure Nelsie's hand. The average woman, okay, and y'all keep in mind when you measure the arm, you want to bend the arm a little bit. So, let's let's turn that way. Mm -hmm. So, look, you go from the top of the shoulder Go ahead, you stick your thumb right there and then you bring it down like that. So Nelsie about what, 22. But because I want a, uh, like a long fashion flare sleeve, stretch your hand out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go 24, 25. I'm gonna go 24, 25. So now, you guys, I feel like I've been cutting sleeves forever. So 
I hate using patterns to cut sleeve, but I'm gonna just kind of show you how to do it, but I'm not gonna use a pattern. Um, so 25 inches. So what you will do is put my beginners that don't know how to cut a sleeve and you're using your favorite chain just in top. What you wanna do is, literally, you see how the sleeve is like that? You're gonna cut it the same way. But if I were you guys, for my first time making something, I would take, I would literally take a seam ripper and unrip, unrip it, and use that same exact measurement that they cut. That's what I would do. But because I've been cutting sleeves so long, I ain't trying to, it's, it's gonna hurt my head to do all that stuff. I'd rather just do it simple. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start at the top of this, and I'm just gonna, uh, curve that thing. You gotta curve it, you gotta add that little, uh, to it. So this right here I cut, let's just say is about, this is about eight inches I cut. Like I cut like an eight inch, pretty much. Is that like an S? Kind of like an S. Yeah, S for Shane Justin. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from the top of that, 25 inches, and I'm gonna take it down. And like I said, I should give a, but Nelson, you know what? The last DIY I gave her a little flare. I just like it, it looks so good to me. Should we give a flare? Time? The yeah. black dress. Let me give it a flare. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, now watch. Now watch how I I I I go out and flare out. Mm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now for me, for my flares, what I want to do is because I don't feel like that flare is is dramatic enough for Shane Justin. Y'all know Shane Justin. You know my pieces when you see my pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut an additional flare to that because I want it to I want the thing to be wide. I want it to make a statement. I want people to say, "Ooh, her her item is so pretty." So I'm gonna just cut a little flare, like a nice little. I'm gonna show y'all what I mean by flare. Literally just cut a triangle. Let's get rid of all of this mumba jumba. Okay. Okay, so what I mean by cut a flare is I literally just cut a triangle and I'm gonna attach it to there. So give me that nice bat look. So let's get our skirt and let's get our um let's get our skirt and our top. So this is the skirt you guys that we cut. This is the top that we cut, the front and back, and this is the sleeve and flare that we cut. So now, um, this is pretty much done. All we gotta do is sew this together, add elastic, and yeah. So I'm not gonna do anything to that. What I wanna do something too is I wanna show y'all a little technique with the top because you remember, we cut the top and the back the same and the top and the back should not be the same. It's not the same cut. So let me show y'all what I'm gonna do to the top, to the front, the front of the top. So for the front of the top, what I'm gonna do is fold it in half again. Now with the armhole, this is a very little, how could I say, a very detail that you, you kind of can't miss because you don't want your top to be kind of baggy right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna go in a little bit more on, on, on that armpit. I'm gonna just go in a little bit more. Bam, just to give me more of that, that uh, that thing like I don't know how to explain it and now like I said she wants a, um, a plunging neckline it won't be a shame just in piece if it's if it's not showing a little something so let's measure for example if I was a girl I measure from my neck to where I want my cleavage to stop so the girl she's probably gonna want her cleavage to be like seven to eight inches something like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this down I'm, a, I'm going to personally cut it six and a half inches deep because when we put the elastic and fold it over, it'll be exactly at seven. So I'm gonna cut this one, maybe six and a half is too deep. What you think? No, no, I think mm -mm. that's fine. So we'll go six and a half. You're gonna get rid of that. So now, as you guys can see, we have a top. We have a top. We have a front. We have a back. We have sleeves. And we have a flare. Now it's time to pin. For my newbies, 
I don't pin. Shane Justin, I, I can it, it hurts me to pin. But I'm gonna pin for you guys because I want you guys to understand and take your time and get to the level of where I'm at to where you don't have to pin. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these front and back together. And we gotta do all of this pinning, 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 pinning. It's just these things just get on my nerves. But whatever. So you're gonna pin that, bam. You're gonna pin that shoulder, bam. You're gonna go ahead and pin, and you wanna, I feel like y'all, if you're beginning, you should be using a little bit more pins than I'm using. It's just me, y'all, I just, I just do what works for me, honestly. And there's no rules. Keep in mind, you guys, let me put y'all up on game. There's no rules to being a fashion designer. A fashion designer comes with, from within. Nobody can teach you how to be a fashion designer. We can teach you how to sew. We can teach you how to how to do everything that has to do with working a machine, but we cannot teach you how to be a fashion designer. So there's no rules in this. Do as you please and do it, what, what fits you best. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I do. I feel like that's what kind of separated me from a lot of people. All right, so pin that. Let's pin the skirt. Let's pin our skirt up. This one up. Mm. And it's okay if you know one is a little bigger than the other. It's fine. It's going to all come out to nice together and everything. So it's all good. All right. So, bam. We got that pinned. So, I'm going to take y'all over to the sewing machine and we're going to start getting this thing going. All right, you guys. So, we're here at the sewing machine and I'm going to start to sew this together before I surge it. So I'm just going to go ahead and lift my lever up, take out this pin and start to sew you guys. And you just want to take your time, take your time, take your time. And even though you guys, we have a little bit extra fabric left over in this side because I cut one side a little bigger than the other. But it's all fine because guess what? Your customer is not going to see that. You're going to get rid of that. Now off to the other side. Just so want to take that pin out and do the same thing. Whoa. <laughs> Went a little fast right there. You want to do that same thing to this side. Okay, so we got our skirt sewed together. Now we have to do our top and yeah. It's no specific way to, to sew your garments. I don't think, I think it's just whatever way you feel comfortable. As you can see, I'm sewing this from bottom up and I sewed that one from top down. There's no specific way. Once again, you guys, you, you are designers. Okay. So, we have our top. Bam. Oh, let me cut this. We have our top here, sewed together. Bam. Now, normally, like last time, you guys... Well, last time I didn't sew the upper sleeve, but normally what you would do is... And I feel like I kind of forgot this step, but it's all, it's, it's okay. Um, what you do is you sew this together first, like you sew up here together first, and then you open it up, and then you sew the sleeve on. That's how I feel like it's a little bit easier, but you know what, this way is fine as well, the way that I'm about to do it. Okay, you guys, so we have our sleeve right here, you know? And what we wanna do is, first of all, because I cut flares, what I wanna do is I wanna add my flare first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my sleeve. I'm gonna open up my sleeve and I'm gonna take, make sure you find your, this is your point right here. So I'm gonna fold this over like this and I'm gonna sew my flare on first because I don't want it to be too difficult. So I sewed one side of my flare on and watch how I sew the other side on. So I'm gonna fold my whole sleeve in half. 
I'm gonna fold my whole sleeve in half. Okay, so you guys, this is where it gets a little tricky because you remember I sewed my flare on. So what you're gonna do is instead of me taking the, the top of the, the sleeve and matching it with this, I'm gonna match it with that. Watch this. I have my sleeve sewed together with my flare. And it looks a little messy right now, you guys. So I just want to let you guys know, like, see, even Shane Justin's pieces are not perfect when it's off the machine. But however, I'm going to show you all how to fix it and get a professional look. Once again, this is for uh, this is for beginner. So I'm going to go ahead and sew my other sleeve. And yeah, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so we got all our pieces sewed together. Now it's time to go clean everything up, okay? All right, y'all, so I'm using an industrial serger this time. Um, last time I used a table machine, but I wanna show the people that have this kind of machine on how to do this as well. So what I'm gonna do is, my what my serger is going to do is, you see how, how it's all messy right here? The serger is gonna cut all, cut all that extra off and still give me a nice professional stitch. So let me just show you guys. I'm gonna just take that and I'm literally just gonna go ahead. And you just follow the curves, follow the curves. Now for the for the bottom of your skirt, this is the bottom of the skirt. What you want to do is you want to also serge that because when you fold it over and hem it, you don't want it to look unprofessional. You want it to look nice and professional. So when you sell your garments, your customers ain't looking like oh, I got this mess, you know. So this is where you guys elastic comes in play because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the waistband in with the serger. So I'm gonna take, remember you guys, this is my waist up here, you see? This is my waist. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna find a corner. Uh, let's pick, let's pick this corner. So I'm gonna find this corner here and I'm gonna lay it out like that. So now what I'm gonna do is, most people pin, I don't pin you guys. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of elastic and I'm gonna stick it right up under that seam like that, and I'm gonna put my lever down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my thing down. So, what you wanna do is now, is you wanna let that, before you start to pull this elastic, you know, cause you gotta snatch the waist. So before you start to pull this elastic, you wanna make sure that this machine, this needle is caught on this elastic. If not, you're gonna pull your elastic out. So, what you wanna do is you just give it a little, uh, like that, okay, bam, so it's caught. So now what I'm gonna do with this elastic is I'm gonna pull it a little bit because I don't want her, I want her waist to be kind of snatched. So, but not too much, but you just pull it just a little bit, like, you know, like that. And then you make sure you take your time because you pulling the elastic, you're not pulling the fabric, you're pulling the elastic. And you cut that, bam. Okay, so this is what your waist should look like. You see, it looks all scrunchy up and crazy, you know what I'm saying right now, but I'm gonna show y'all what it's gonna look like when I sew it when I sew it down. So let's go ahead and sew the top now and because the skirt is done. Did the uh, top. Now let's go ahead and clean that sleeve up. So this part gets a little tricky because remember we did the flare right here. 
this is where the flare is at so let me show you how i'm going to do this this is how i do it once again you guys you do your stuff how you do your stuff but this is the way that i'm going to do it i'm gonna do is because remember you see i didn't i didn't get up get to do that other side so now i'm gonna just go ahead and just take it up like that then what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and surge around there because you want this to look nice and neat too you don't want it looking looking cheap and you do what you did to one sleeve you do to the other So now you guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our sleeve into our top I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do because this part can get a little little tricky but you know what you guys can handle it um, so what I did was you see this is the sleeve right so what I did was I made a little snippet here at the top of the very very point of the sleeve right here because I'm gonna match this snippet with the point of my sleeve up here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it inside out I'm gonna flip my sleeve inside out I'm gonna flip my sleeve inside. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it in the inside of it like this. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna connect the bottom of the sleeve with the bottom of the the bottom of the armpit and the top of that snippet that I cut with the top of this. And you what you wanna do is you wanna pin this. This is a part that you wanna pin because you don't wanna really too much get this wrong. Cause then it's gonna be a mess trying to get it back right. All right, so you just pin that like that. And let me just show y'all how you're gonna just take it through. It's not too hard, y'all. It's easy if you think about it. So you just take your time. Make sure your seams are lined up, y'all. It's very important. And go slow. Go slow. Take your time. Go slow. Make sure them things is lined up. You want to make sure them sleeves is nice. So that's in there. Now I'm going to do what I did to one sleeve. I'm going to do to the other. Flip it inside out. Match them, them seams up. So what you do is you just see... Point, Find that snippet. There you go. You mash them up. I'm not going to pin this one because I already know what I'm doing, y'all. in now and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do next okay so I'm gonna show y'all where we at right now so you guys can understand this process okay so right now everything is inside out y'all still see the seams are raw you know I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna search that also so you want to search the bottom now this is a little tricky part because normally i put my elastic in with a serger but i'm going to show you guys how to put it in with the straight stitch machine or zigzag whatever um because i think it might be a little bit easier because it's thinner elastic so head over to my sewing machine i'm gonna show you how to do this all right y'all so um we got our elastic right here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick a corner like i always say pick a corner that start the elastic off so this is very important you go up under there like I said and you're going to go ahead and put your lever down and what you want to do is you want to get it caught up under there you don't want to start pulling yet until you get it caught up in there so what you do is you because you, it has to be pulled because if not it's not gonna be snug on your breast 
So you want to do, you want to pull it a little bit, not too crazy, not like that. You want to pull it nicely and you just go ahead and stitch on top of it. But you do not pull the fabric. Okay, you guys, so my elastic is in right now. This top still looks a little messy, you know. It still look a little messy, but I'm gonna go clean it up and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do. All right, you guys, so you see all that excess fabric? I'm gonna go ahead and cut all that off and make it nice and clean. So what you wanna do is you can pull both items. You know, you can pull both, but not too much, but you can pull both of them because you wanna make sure that it's nice and clean. So take your time, don't go all fast. You guys, so my neckline is served. You know, it look a little cleaner. It's gonna look a lot more cleaner once I sew it down and flip it over and everything. But I'm gonna go ahead and serge the hem of my top. Now, now you guys, we're gonna go stitch everything down and make everything professional and I'm gonna show you the outcome. All right, y'all, so this is a skirt. What I'm about to do is I'm literally about to flip this down just like this. Flip it down just like this. Stitch it, and I'm going to do the same thing with the hem, okay? So what you do, and also what you want to do is you normally want to stitch this together. Just because I'm doing a DIY, I'm going to kind of like play it cheap. Yeah. This, you can pull both because let me tell you, this is really, really, really important, okay? Now, this is the time where you pull both of them because you never, you ever tried on an outfit or something and it's like, as soon as you put it on, it's like pop, 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 pop. It's because they didn't pull it when they was, when they was sewing it. They just stitched it. So now you're, now when your body that is bigger than that hole is trying to get into it, your stitches are popping. So in order to prevent that, you pull it while you stitch it or you use a zigzag stitch. Now you want to hem your sleeves, hem the bottom, and you're done with this piece. Okay, you guys, we are officially done. Now I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like and then I'm gonna take y'all over to my model so she can try it on and y'all can get the full look. Hey. All right, you guys, there you have it. So you have a custom two-piece that was made in 30 minutes. Look, let me show you guys. It's super cute, super cute, super cute. That goes to show you, you can do anything. Super cute. I'm gonna have my model try it on so you guys can get the full look and once again, Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Y'all want more of these videos. 
Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend, all right? See ya. I just made this cool two-piece in 30 minutes, so let me show y'all what it looks like.